Then they hold them again. Badiris, Johns, Johns, Perry. Perry running at a small man. Dykes did well. But now it's O'Davis and another chance for Newcastle. Johns rolls it in. Here it is. First try of the night. Newcastle get it. Is it Matt Gidley or is it Steve Simpson? I think it's Gidley. Well, they've both been congratulated. Adam Mogg disappointed, but relentless pressure. We saw Parramatta nearly have some success at the other end with the short kick. But then Andrew Johns going to the line. The fullback was actually up in the front line. He was the man who took Andrew Johns, so no cover coming across. And then it's just a battle between the two Newcastle players. I think Gidley got his hand there first. And I think he will claim the try. Yeah, back-to-back sets for Newcastle and very hard to hold out, aren't they? Great attacking team. And whilst Andrew Johns has really set that up with a nice kick, Josh Perry has put in some barnstorming runs early in the match. He's made great metres, a couple of offloads as well. He's taking on the smaller men just on the edges of the ruck, so it's good planning by Coach Michael Hagen, who's got him running a bit wider tonight. And uh, as a result of concerted pressure by the forwards, Johns weaves some magic in the first try of the night. Bella to play it. And now they've marked up one on one. They go left. McFadden puts a kick in. Lions have scored. Did he ground the ball? Bill Harrigan was right on top of him. And he's asked the immediate question. Uh, has he grounded it? And is he onside? Let's have a look. Jamie Lyon is certain that he's behind the kicker, Andrew McFadden. Yeah, it looks fine there. What about the grounding? That's what uh, Harrigan was more concerned about, I thought. Okay, let's, the ball goes through. Lyon is on the fly. He's timed it perfectly. He gets the football. Yeah, that's yeah. no drama. Yeah, what, what? John's weaving his uh, magic. Oh, Davis makes a mistake. Then he cleans it up. Now they've drawn a player out of the line. Twinner's tackle. It was Nathan Hindmarsh. But what about O'Davis? He made a mistake and then as cool as a cucumber, he corrected the mistake. Johns goes with a towering kick right across the ground. The bat down. Tahu for Gidley. Gidley's over. Gidley scores. Newcastle are in for their second try. And Harrigan has pointed to the spot. And Tamana Tahu just shows his unbelievable athleticism. This was their near opportunity on the left-hand side. Nathan Hindmarsh crunching Quinn in the tackle. And then Andrew John Joy said, didn't come up with a great kick moments ago. Gets this one pinpoint. Tahu, normally he's the recipient off the Gidley pass. They turned it around this time. He flies high, and then the little flick to his centre partner. Great stuff. Oh, the kick and season, that one. Fantastic stuff from Andrew Johns. Just, he just looked for Tahu and found him. Beautiful stuff. And Matt Gidley knew he couldn't get to the kick, so he just hung out the back to get the dribs and drabs. And he's come up with four points. And the quality of this take, Paul, is that Jason Moody is very, very strong under the high ball. And he was just out-positioned, out-manoeuvred. And then Tahu, he realised he could keep it alive. Gidley improves the position. In fact, I think it got him a grand final try. Badiris now for Johns. Johns lets Perry run a decoy as he goes right. O'Davis goes the other way. And O'Davis is held there by... Ian Hindmarsh and Andrew McFadden, Badiris. Numbers on the left, he'll go himself, he'll score. Badiris is over. Newcastle's in again. Third try for them. And again, we come back to the mistake from the kickoff. Gave them field position. And Danny Badiris, he's having a great night, as Paul pointed out. He's a dummy half. He goes, and if he freeze play there, you can see this Parramatta defender comes up, and it opens up the gap. A little bit slow from Marker coming across, and as play continues, Badiris, too smart. You can see, actually, one of the Parramatta players comes up and makes the tackle. It was Nathan Kalis. We keep saying the man who's got the football is the most dangerous on the field. Just see how McFadden holds off Badiris. All night, Badiris has been just been getting out of dummy half and passing the football. Hasn't actually been tackled. And on that occasion, McFadden said, well, he'll pass again. I'll just hang off him. Just for a fraction of a second, that's all he needed. The gap opened up. And through he went. And it's not a try, but it's the next best result. And that's Drew again from under the... the oh, oh, no, it hasn't run. gone 10 metres. Oh, it hasn't gone around. In fact, it's probably lost ground. Well, that is the strangest line drop out I think I've ever seen. Poor old Brad. How embarrassing. Harry said I haven't seen one of those for a long time. I don't think, Bill, you've ever seen one like that. Shot. 
Well, they've had a little bit of a luck of luck in the past with that short dropout, but it's not been Brad Drew who's been taking them. I don't think he's the most accomplished kicker in the side. Even his last one from under the place, I think he punted it instead of drop kicking it. And this one, he's just... Well, that is dead set in the grand final of worst ever goal line Thanks, dropouts. Crush is hard to beat. Crusher in 1985, State of Origin. Love you, Crusher. That's probably the best ever from the big fellow. That's up there with them. Look, the heads go down. 84. So the penalty from right in front for Andrew Johns is successful. 20 points to 8 now. Newcastle, Johns and Kalis having a little bit of a joke about the kick from Brad Drew. He doesn't need anybody making jokes out of it, I can assure you. And again, caught on the last tackle. That's rare. We really call it. The last couple of last tackle options haven't been good, so Badiris, just the simple one down the short side. Unfortunately, this will go dead. And a bit of a scuffle here between Tahu and Violecki. Violecki gave Danny Badiris a little, a little bump after Violecki. Well, now it's starting to spill over. Solomon is involved. This players, well, this is getting ugly all over the place now. There's always a waltz in there for a while, but they've gone on with it. Well, what happened here? Violecki took Badiris out after he kicked it. And Tahu went into the defence of Badiris, who came up clutching the jaw. And they embraced each other for about five seconds before it boiled over. Well, I don't know what Shimano Tahu has had to say to David Violecki, because it didn't look as though it was going to get out of hand. There's Violecki coming. Oh, gee. This Ligan. is what upset them. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Please. That's, that is very poor. It's a late shot, it's high, it's cheap with an elbow. He's in trouble. So Tahu became the prosecutor here. You can see why he was in flame. Let's stay with Bill. Right, number two, Newcastle, number two. Number two. I'm just wondering if the video referee is now in Bill Harrigan's ear telling him exactly what happened. Number four power. Four where's four power? Now, the two blokes, listen, the two blokes over there were being called by the touch side, stand there to stop you from bluing. Both of you were told to stop bluing, right? When this touch side is standing and he's telling you to do that, listen to him and do it. Don't take the matter into your own hands. Right? You go away. Don't let me come their attention again. Go away. You've had an elbow. You're going on report for it. The penalty is against you. Again, don't get involved. You got it? So, Violecki will leave his judgment during the week. It didn't look like it was going to explode, and then all of a sudden it did. Tahu wanted to make his point. His point was that it was a cheap shot on Danny Badiris, and it was, from the pictures we've seen. And now it will go through video examination, and then Jim Hall will make a decision. Unless I could sense that Parramatta are about to concede a try, if I was Andrew Johns, I would just take the one point. Perry! Good point, two men go! Let go! Close to the line. Well, Newcastle's penalty. He came up with the boot. Andrew will kick for goal. 20 to 8, 10 and a half to go. I hope not. I hope not. I hope you were talking to David then. If anyone cost you the game, was that lead pull? Don't you ever say that to me. Lead pull, fair and square. Back you go. Yeah, well, so Kalis has said something and Harrigan's just warning him. I hope that wasn't meant for me. Mm, Billy Boy's gone off. And they don't, don't need one where they can get two points. Very frustrated, aren't they, now, the Parramatta side? Well, I think that's brought about by Paul, not so much via Leckie and that incident, but more that they, they visited down the other end so many times and promised so much and came back with nothing. That's what we were saying ten minutes ago. And then they, they've given away the last three or four penalties in a row. It was like you. You went fishing in Morton Bay more times than any other fisherman and came back with nothing. But Dad got a thousand whiting. I got none. And we came here saying it was the best defensive team against the best attacking team. Well, the best attacking team tonight has out-defended the opposition. Johns then takes the penalty points. 22 points to eight. 
nothing less will do. Drew to play it for Dykes. Here is uh, Andrew McFadden. He beat, he beat Andrew Johns. Oh, put that in your copy book, Andrew McFadden. That is worth pickling. That is worth preservation. 22 to 12. It might not be enough, though. He's trying to sit into Jamie Lyon's spot on the far side. Feeden. Johns. Here is Rudder. Rudder will score. Sean Rudder. One of the unsung heroes of what Newcastle are doing these days with no Matthew Johns puts his name in the record books again. He's an unsung hero every week for Newcastle, but his teammates know how important he is. He said it's taken a while for him to learn to play outside Andrew Johns. Always had trouble out there, just not enough numbers. As I say, Witters, he was playing in the centres and the defence just not coming up on the inside. The gap opened up. Way too many troops out there running at them with the football. Well, they had four on two, and Sean Rudder's had a great game tonight. Whenever Andrew Johns hasn't been around for the kicking game, it's been Rudder who's filled in with his trusty right boot. And the redhead of 5'8 scoots a nice 10, 12 metres. Showed a bit of pace. Oh, we love to see a redhead score, Ravi. 